Now that is a doggone stringer if I've ever seen one. Welcome back everybody. As you just saw, we are gonna be building the stringers in today's episode. So don't go anywhere. Let's get right into it. All right, this is gonna be a little bit tricky. Getting the right height for all these stringers all the way through. Now, in the end I will be able to check once I've got them there. I'll be able to run a level to see just how straight it is and I'll be able to eyeball it kind of. But what I'm going to try to do is I've got a huge long roll of string here and I'm going to try to put it up along the edges at the height of the deck. So I'm going to do one straight across there so I know across the transom what is the deck height. starting to look like a virtual floor in here now I do know these are probably sagging uh, just a little bit but not too much so to start off with I'm going to divide the length of each stringer in half so <clears throat> you can see here I already took the measurements for the back right uh, stringer piece and when I took those measurements, I took them for what the deck height's gonna be. Now, I had to normalize those from the red pin to the pencil marking to get it down to what the stringer height needs to be. So you can see at the back, it's gonna be five inches, and at the front, it's gonna be four and a quarter inches. So I'm gonna cut this one out of a uh, foam board for first to see how it fits and then the foam board it'll be easy for us to shave little pieces off to get it just right. Alright, there's a stringer template. Time to go put it in the boat and see how it fits. And just like that we've got our first stringer template in here lined up. Man, it's fitting like a glove right in the groove where it needs to go. Got pretty good height there at the back. I think I've got pretty good height here at the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all those other ones cut. And then I'll update you after that. Okay, I was just about losing my mind a second ago until I realized something. So this should be perfectly level side to side. Well, if you look at the level, you'll notice it's to the right, meaning that it's actually leaning downhill on this side. And I gotta pick it up in order to get it perfectly level. The bubble's right in the middle of the right side hash mark. Now the reason why that is, is because of how it's sitting on the boat trailer right now. If you remember, the support on this side is actually tilted up a little bit towards the front here, which is causing this side to be a little higher than this side. So all that means is, when I'm making the deck, I'll make it to where right now, it's actually sloping that way a little bit, that same level, because that's basically straight across on our deck. So a perfectly level deck is going to be unlevel relative to the earth right now. So that's okay, but I just gotta take that into account. Well, this is turning out to be slightly more difficult than I anticipated. One little issue I'm running into here that I didn't realize originally is as we're coming along here with the stringer right here, this actually dips down lower than it even is at the back. I just thought it was deepest at the back and got shallower as it went forward. But this is actually deeper right here, so it gets... From there it's steady till about right here, then it starts getting a little bit deeper, and then it gets shallower again up towards the front. So now I'm taking that into account with my measurement here. I think I started losing my mind at this point. Like I'm looking at the numbers on the paper and they don't even make sense. It just looks like chicken scratch. 
Well, this might come back to bite me in the butt, but I'm making the decision to say screw the pink foam board and the templates. I'm just going to go straight to cutting the plywood with all these measurements. Sometimes you just got to have confidence that your measurements are correct and just do it and see what happens. So that's what I'm going to do now is just go straight to cutting the plywood and it better fit. That's all I can say. just start by saying my little string method here didn't quite work out because I mean they sag so you don't know what is the right height for sure honest to God I've got this piece cut and ready to go now I mean <clears throat> and I did have to uh, recut it a few times the only thing that helps you figure out what the right cut is, is taking the level and putting it from the piece to where it's going to line up with on the wall and finding level with that. That's like right at the bottom of that lines up with where the top of the stringer is going to be and that's almost right at level. And it's like, because really what's going to happen is there's going to be the cap on the stringer that'll be like that thick, and then that'll be up to there, and then the deck will be even a little bit more than that up to where that lip is on the wall. So that is approximately what will be level for the deck, which will be about that plus another too thick of that board right there which is right about what it's at anyways as you can see there's a lot of all right finding level up there finding level up there one thing I almost ran into was yeah it might have been level back here but as we got towards the front the front of that was sticking up too much to where it wouldn't be level up here and where we're going to attach the rest of the stringer extended to the front and I was trying to follow level with where the old lip for the deck is well that stringer would have been tilted down more than this one is straight up and across so then it's like where they would have come together the deck would have had a crease in it and this is an exaggeration but it would have had a crease kind of like that where at that point it's a high point where the deck starts going downhill after that needless to say um, I got it fixed and worked out now to where that's not gonna happen but it's just it's time consuming man this is honestly this is the most tedious part and uh, the string method did not work so I wouldn't even recommend that what I do recommend is just finding a level and it's like before you whoops before you cut the board and you're trying to figure out where the how the heck high you want it to be well if you know where the deck is gonna touch on the edge and how high above the stringer board that's gonna be you can find level with a long level like this 
And while holding it up, take your tape measure and measure straight down from that point, and then that'll give you the height you need. That's the sort of method I'm doing now. So I've got that one good. I'm going to base the next one that's right next to it off of that height and then go from there. Alright, we finally got the second piece cut out here and you can see they are pretty doggone level. It's almost exactly where they're supposed to be lined up with is right at the bottom of where that foam piece is sitting underneath the lip. You can see they line up real close with that. So that's almost exactly what we want can see it on the level back here uh, it's just ever so slightly uh, tilted up on this side which if you remember this side of the boat is actually a tiny bit higher right now because of how it's sitting on the trailer so that is expected and is okay the amount of difference it is let me show y'all there's perfectly level right there I mean it's just barely like paper thin underneath there to get it right and honestly whenever I'm gluing these in I'm gonna have them up in the air about I don't know an eighth to a quarter of an inch on these foam pieces so I'll be able to get them perfectly level with each other and even if they aren't perfect uh, they'll still be pretty doggone close I should do next is go ahead and cut out the pieces towards the front to make sure that I get it to where the deck is going to be level across where it transitions from there over to the next piece that will be going forward. I think it will be pretty close but I want to make sure that I got it right. So I'm going to try to cut out those pieces next. Well, I'm making another executive decision modifying the original design. As you can see, the channel where the old stringers went started curving quite a bit from here up towards the front coming to a center point. Now, I tried curving the plywood a little bit, setting it with some rocks for an hour, but it tries to spring back into position pretty well. So I really don't want to go the curved route and the only other way I could mostly fit it to the original curved design is then if I cut it in multiple sections and just slightly angled each one more and more. But I don't want to do that and thinking about the structural support I'm going to need underneath the feet and underneath this dashboard. It's actually going to make more sense. You can see the board I have cut out already going from there continuing forward just to let the board go straight on forward and then I'll cut it down so that it folds into that nicely and it'll actually line up with the seam of where the front wall of that front seat box is going to be resting on which is actually good and then more than that it's actually going to mostly line up with this wall too on this side I'm going to have a support that will come down right here only about an inch or so off of this channel because we'll have another part of it going down off of that one so it'll be really close to being right under this to support uh, the dash really well so I think that's what I'm gonna do and uh, I mean honestly in terms of distance I think this walkway is still going to be just as structurally sound uh, walking on it. And actually, if anything, it will be more structurally sound because this plywood, nine, uh, what is it again, 
19 30 seconds is actually thicker than what they used to have in there. All right, another little detour. I am sick and tired of these darn things falling over like that. And it's just happening all the time. The only reason they're staying in place right now is one, because of that, and two, because of this. Without that, they just fall all over the place. And I am sick and tired of it happening. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some little, I don't know, I guess I'd call them forks, but basically they'll hold them exactly spaced out apart, even at the top, and they'll have little prongs that come down to help keep that evenness down to the bottom, and then they shouldn't move. So what I'm gonna cut it out of was this scrap piece of plywood here. So I'm gonna make eight of these and I should have just enough board to cut them four inches thick so that's what I'm gonna do now and hopefully that helps manage this crap better <laughs> Okay, you can see we've got the uh, little template holders in place now. And they're doing their job quite nicely, holding the stringers equal distance apart and helping to keep them upright, although they will still kind of fall over if you tap them just right. Got it leveled out and everything looks really good. So now uh, the next step is just doing the rest. I've got this piece right here laid out for the front. Ow, God. Oh, that was my back. You can see it's already nighttime, so I'm gonna pick up on this again tomorrow. We are back. It is the next day, so let's not waste any time. Let's get this crap done. Well, it didn't take long for me to get stuck again. Still on the same darn piece. And I think I'm changing my mind once again. You see, I thought I'd have it kind of go do a number like that. The problem is, it's going to be over this big gap right there and really I need it over even further so that that doesn't happen but I don't want the stringer going all the way over there so the only way for me to get around that is I'll have one piece that comes from here to here so then it'll be able to go along this edge here and it'll mate with it perfectly and then I'll have another piece from here up to the forward and it'll be slightly to the right slightly to the right but it'll be able to stay above this ledge the whole way and then um, sort of the flip side of that is the bottom one will also hold the bottom edge all the way now I didn't want to do that originally splitting it into three pieces one there one there and there because now at each of those intersections maybe this one's coming like this and then the next one's like that and then the next one's like that I know I just said that I'm gonna split that forward half into two pieces instead of just one but I actually ended up changing my mind again and I was so frustrated that I didn't even get that part on video later that same night but don't worry about it, just know I ended up going back to just one piece for that front half, kind of like how it is now. 
but I just had to cut it differently to get it to fit into that channel better. Did you see that piece laying down sideways down there? I'm going to shave just a little bit off the top of that one so that way it won't be sticking up too much. It's just a little bit higher than this other one. So then after that it'll be good. We'll be done with all the cutting for the pieces on this side. And then all I want to get done today is for that other side we've got four pieces to cut out and I'm going to try to get them all cut today. We'll see if I can get it or not. All right, we got the top trimmed off, got it put back in there. You can see it's pretty darn close to level. It's just a hint on this right side a bit higher, which we cut it down lower than it was before. Now it's almost exactly how I want it to be sort of level with the trailer because the trailer isn't quite level where we're sitting at right now. So that is actually perfect how we want it. And then the forward and backwards is still pretty level which is also what we want and I've gone ahead set all this back up again and verified that that's what we're getting all the way across the deck you can see this one's just for just a hair but we're going to uh, correct for that a little bit whenever we're gluing these in because the bead of peanut butter we'll put underneath will allow us to sort of it'll be floating so we'll be able to push it up and down in whichever direction we need a little bit. So all this is good to go. Time to start measuring and cutting this side. So the strategy I'm going to use, since obviously this string strategy did not work out, is you can see I've got this board run across. Obviously we want to be level with whatever we get this side to. So that's what I'm going to go off of. So we've got that board running across the back there. Now if I put my level on it, you can see what I was saying earlier. Actually, let me flip this around. Now you can see. So it's almost exactly level, but it's just a hint to that right side there. So that's what we're going for. So what I'm going to do is take my measurements from right there straight down and that's what I'm going to cut. So I'm going to measure at the end and then I'm going to measure at the front of where the first set is going to go to in line with that. So right after that bulkhead. So I'm going to, once I take that measurement, I'm going to move the board forward, make sure it's level with this across, take the second set of measurements right here. And that's what we'll go with. I know this part where it cuts out a little bit through here does get a tiny bit lower. You can kind of see on that side. Well, not really, but it does get a tiny bit lower. Honestly, at this point, it does not matter. We're just going to fill in the void with peanut butter, which is perfectly fine. Honestly, before what was making me take so long and why it was so difficult is I was trying to get it to where it was perfect with every little curve and crack with the hole and that was just too difficult it takes too long and in the end after you cut it it's not going to be right so just screw that strategy just cut it from point a to point b everything along the middle is pretty straight and the way you can tell that so let me tell you you take for example a piece like this so just a nice long little straight piece you can move that out of the way. You just run it along there, and you can see it runs pretty darn straight to the hole. So that's exactly what we want. That's what we're going to do. So you don't have to worry about it curving down a little bit there. Just cut it straight. It's easier, it's faster, and in the end, you honestly want voids like that that you fill in with peanut butter because it's like the peanut butter is the cushion for the wood. You don't want it where the wood itself is touching the hole. That's like when you have a plane of glass and you have one little pebble underneath it 
that could break the whole glass around it because that one little pebble is exerting all the stress. Same thing with this wood. If it was just one little point is touching the hole, well, when you step on it, all the weight on the deck is going to transfer through that one little point first. So that's why we don't want that. That's why we're laying down a bead of peanut butter underneath all of it, sort of like a cloud, a pillow for it to rest on. So there you go. Gonna get that cut out now. Hopefully it'll go fast. both those pieces cut out and put in place now you can see pretty darn level this side's crooked just a little bit right now I just gotta adjust it there you can see this turned out being pretty level just slightly to the right as we would expect so I'm pretty happy with how that is I think I'm gonna leave it the way it is and now we just gotta do these last two pieces here. So this piece actually turned out pretty good, but that's because this isn't the piece I just cut. This is the piece from the stringer on the right side of the boat. The piece that I just cut is actually this one. And as you can see, it has a huge gap on the bottom. Didn't turn out right. So I should have just copied the ones I made on this side because I put them over here and they fit just about perfectly. So now, that is what I'm gonna do after all is just copy those. Stringers are done being cut. I could not be happier. I mean, we've got it dang near as level as could be all the way up to the front. I mean, the spacing's just about perfect, just how we like it. This side, nice and level. And then the forward to backwards, nice and level nice and level. I really could not be happier with this. And that is where we are going to end today's video. I do apologize. I know this episode has run really long. And the truth is, the stringers, cutting them out, getting them perfectly level, just the right height to meet the hole, that was the most tedious part of this entire project so far. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. And so, I know it's run long, I do apologize for that. If you guys did enjoy the video and you're still watching at this point, I just want to say thank you, and if you did enjoy it, leave me a thumbs up to let me know. I do want to get take a moment to give a huge shout out to my 82 subscribers. I don't know how we're killing it so bad. I mean, that's... We, I don't even know how much we've gone up in the last week, but it's a lot. Anyways, you guys are awesome, and I mean, every single one that comes in just makes me want to keep going. It's like you're saying, finish the boat, finish it. So that is exactly what I'm going to try to do now, and I thank all of y'all for all your support, and I will finish the boat 
Coming up in the next video, we're going to be waterproofing and then installing those stringers into the boat. So stay tuned for that. You can always subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you get notified when that new video comes out. Even though I'm sure you probably don't care to watch it. But until then, I will see you guys next time.